there's one thing that we all must understand. No company buys logo. They buy you, they buy your authenticity, and they buy who you actually are. Hey my friends, Dan Deegan here and listen, today I wanna to come to you and before we even get going, go on, subscribe, hit the like button, hit that bell and make sure you turn on notifications to get notified when I release videos. Typically we're releasing them every Tuesday and we hope that these videos bring you massive value in the logistics and supply chain industry, inside freight sales in particular, you know. And one of the, the topic I wanna to talk to you about today is your authenticity, right? You being authentic is really what customers buy. A lot of the times as salespeople, we lead with all of these really cool things our company does. You know, I have a question for you when it comes to that. Like, do you buy things? And if you have to deal with somebody long term, do you not look at the individual over some of the tools, strategies, and that kind of stuff? And what I mean by that is, you know, there are hundreds of thousands of car dealers out there. I buy a specific car because of my salesperson, because I know when I make a phone call, he'll be there. I know when I need things or when I say, hey, listen, there's this information I need. How do I get it? What do I do? He takes care of it, right? And if you think about it, like a vehicle you purchase, you know, if you're lucky, you purchase one every three, four years. Sometimes you purchase them, you know, every 10 years, but it's that individual that you go to. So think of this when it comes to freight sales, right? Your customer is looking to you. Now, the tools your company has is one thing, but I can tell you right now, as a, as a freight agent, salesperson, owner, all, I mean, I've been at every spectrum in the game, and I'll tell you, you don't, your company doesn't need to provide all these services. You can source those services anywhere on the planet. So that whole, you know, five-star formula for one company, it can all be seamless through you as the company because you are the face of the company, but you can get that service somewhere else. So if we take away that perspective, right? If we remove that lens of, you know, I have all these services for my company and because I have all of these services, um, it makes me a, a great person to deal with. That's not true. The question is how authentic are you during every part of the sales process? Like, and what I mean by that is if you don't know something, do you say to the prospect, a great question you know I'm not really sure let me get back to you on that if you're in a meeting and a prospect says something to you if you don't know your eyes give it away like you could sit there and say yeah oh yeah yeah I understand I understand but it's like you get this like almost deer in a headlight look I guess is for lack of a better term is the way they say it right so our eyes give us away for a lot of these things and if you don't know it the authentic way to say is hey listen you know what I don't know but I'll tell you one thing in the next three days, I'm gonna be an expert at it. Clients like that more than, yeah, 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 for sure I know. And either an email comes across completely incoherent because you're not talking the same language, right? Like, or B, they're just like, okay, that's not even close to what I wanted. So there, you know, there's those two factors, right? Inconsistent, incoherency, and then completely off topic. And it's because you didn't know. But how many times have you been in that situation as a sales rep right now? How many times have you been in that situation? And how many times would it have been so much easier just to say, you know what? Hey, hands up. I'm, I'm really sorry, my friend. Like, I, I didn't know. I don't know. But you know what? I am going to find out in the next 48 to 72 hours. And when I'm done finding out, I'll report back to you with a complete kind of understanding and all that, right? Like, think of the authenticity of that. Not only that. I look at it and I've asked dozens of customers, hey, if you're a logistics rep, I mean, the person you're entrusting to move your business, to keep your company profitable, to keep everything status quo and to help you achieve your goals, can admit that they don't know something? Where does that put them? And every one of them said, like, hands down, way up further on the ladder. Like those people that over promise and under deliver are brutal. The ones that stop and say, hey, I don't know but I will find out. And it's not just, I don't know. It's create that plan to say, you know, in the next 48 hours, next 72 hours, I'm gonna come back to you and I'm gonna know everything there is. And you can even quiz me on it. That's how bad I wanna do business with you as an individual, because that's what we do. Everything we do is business with an individual. Now, 
there might be anomalies for that. You know, you go into a clothing store and you don't particularly like the salesperson, you don't find them, you might say to yourself, well, I'm not going back to that salesperson. Now, if that store has the product, you're probably still gonna go back, but you're gonna find a new salesperson. If you suggest to a customer, this is the process that's gonna help you and it doesn't help them, what does that do to your image, your credibility and your brand, right? Like everything we do, it's not about freight. It's about image, credibility, brand. And the overarching structure that encompasses all that is status. We all want status. Now, whether it's to not hurt the status we already have or to grow status, like we either wanna gain or lose status. That's where all of our decisions are made. When you break every decision down to its nucleus, it's status. And authenticity helps your status. Authenticity helps you grow and develop and become the individual that your customers trust. When you can be authentic, you know, I have said numerous, numerous times, I still have three coaches. As much as I've been in the industry 28 years, I'm still learning. I learn from students that have been in the industry two or three years. And a lot of people say, Dan, don't ever say that. What are you talking about? That's crazy. But I completely disagree with them because if I can learn from everyone, you can learn from everyone. And when we, we block ourselves, when we create that, that lens that, you know, I know it all, I could do it all, I could be it all, we kill ourselves. We kill our productivity, we kill our success, and we ultimately kill our career, our dreams, our aspirations, and our big goals. Because we're not being authentic to the world around us. Everybody, I don't care if you're Elon Musk, Bill Gates, like Bill Gates reads five or six books a month to continually educate himself and grow because he knows there's, he doesn't know everything. Warren Buffett, same thing. Like these are some of the most successful people on the planet who still educate and communicate. And they will be the first to tell you, authenticity is key. If you don't know it, say you don't know it, but figure, get a plan or suggest that you're going to understand it by this time, does this work? Now here, here's the second part of this and I'll, and I'll be quick at this because you, you, I mean, the reality is you could beat the, the horse all you want authenticity rules and I'm talking about everything like I'm sitting here in a skidoo jet in a skidoo shirt I love skidooing like I, I don't put on a golf shirt just for my videos I wear t-shirts I wear jeans because I believe that's my authentic self I, I used to be the suit and tie guy and that was my authentic self I would go to a meeting in the middle of a farm field with a shirt and tie right not necessarily the best dress I mean with shoes getting crap all over. like I mean trust me but I look at it and I say I'm authentic Right, like this is who I am. I, I, I go to business meetings and I, I wear jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a sweater, because I'm authentic. You know, I love golf, so I love golf shirts, but I'm just not a golf shirt person anymore unless I'm golfing. I'm just who I am, it's where I'm at in my life. Right, so, so that authenticity is key. You know, and, and when you're authentic, um, the true you comes out. And think of it like this, you know, especially in logistics, right? The reoccurring sales that happen, the reoccurring conversations, the reoccurring, you know, information, the reoccurring communication, the reoccurring interaction, if you will, like daily, sometimes 10 times a day. If you start out not being yourself, it's only a matter of time before the real you comes out. And if you've ever been involved in some kind of relationship where you think a person is a certain way and then the real them comes out, I ask you the question, how do you feel when you realize that? Like, do you feel duped? Because I know I do. I have in the past, 100%. You know, you, you think you're kind of getting to know somebody or you know somebody and all of a sudden, like something happens, you're like, holy crap, that is not, well, and then you start speaking to me, oh no, they're always like that. It's like, you know, there's that, in a, and especially in a relationship, which is what business is, it's all about relationships. So if we're like that in a relationship, it's gonna destroy you. I mean, and some people might say, Dan, you know what, I disagree with you. It's not gonna destroy you, and maybe destroy is a, is a heavy word, but it will definitely hinder your overall success, greatness, and life vitality. So my friends, understand this. Be authentic in everything you do. If you don't know, tell your prospect, tell your supplier, tell your customer, tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your spouse, tell whoever it is, I don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna find out and I will get back to you in a X number of time, like a finite period of time, and we're gonna have a conversation about it. 
If you do that, you will gain credibility, you gain influence, you'll, your brand will continue to grow. You will be able to create the life and destiny you've always wanted, your ambitions, your desires, right? Like we must be bold, fierce, and unrelenting in chasing our dreams. And part of that dream is learning into who you want to be. It's how all growth happens. We don't all just come out and say, well, this is who we are and this is what we got. I and mean, you know, we're awesome, we're like this. We grow into it. Grow, part of growing into who we want to become is the fact of knowing, hey, I don't know it, but I will because that'll enhance and that'll raise my bar and raise my bar and raise my bar and raise my bar with every single time that I learn something new. And be the first one to come out and say, hey, no, don't understand it. Like you totally just went right over my head, but you know what? Explain it to me a little bit further. Give me this and ask the questions and clarify and say, you know what? I'm going to come back to you and I'm, I'm going to have a full understanding of this because obviously this is important to you, which means it's important to me. Prior to this conversation, I had no idea it even existed. Thank you for educating me. That will gain you more credibility in any business meeting, function, conversation, interaction than anything else. Until next time, my friends, remember, go out there, make every call educational, crush your sales, and you're only one sales sequence away.